What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the PlayStation 5 DualSense wireless controller as well as the DualSense charging station. Now, it has been a while since I have actually used a traditional PlayStation controller. I probably think it was like since PlayStation 3. Uh, real quick before you even get into that, this video is not scripted at all, but I did write notes down in order to uh, remember what it is that I want to talk about. So, controller. So, traditional PlayStation controller, like I said, the last one I probably used was a PlayStation 3 controller. In between then, from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 4 Pro, I've always used some type of custom controller, whether it be from uh, Scuf Gaming or Cinch Gaming. Uh, real quick, if you guys want to know the difference, Scuf Gaming uses paddles, Cinch Gaming uses buttons. I like them both. It all depends on uh, what you want to go with. Now, for the PlayStation 4, uh, my PlayStation 4 Pro, I have been using the uh, Scuf Impact, and this actually came with four paddles, but I only used two of them. But I like this. I like this a lot. And if you guys want to know details about this controller, just let me know in the comments below, and I will... Uh, Actually, better yet, I'll go ahead and put a annotation in the video right above here or somewhere at the end of the video as well um, about this controller if you guys are interested in it. Now, like I said, going from a custom controller back to a traditional um, OEM controller, it's going to feel weird. And I don't know how I'm going to like it or not. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Anyways, so we are going to go ahead and get into the DualSense uh, charging station real quick and do this unboxing first, and then we're going to get to the controller right after. Now, this video is actually uh, made a couple days prior to the PlayStation 5 actually coming out. Technically, it's 11-9-2020, uh, and this video probably is going to come out at 11 10. So, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Handy dandy knife that the sis bought me. God bless her soul. So we have a thicker box inside this flimsy box. Flimsy box. So. As we open this, we have the manual. We have the AC adapter, so the power adapter, the power cable, and that's it for this. And then this is the charger itself. Now, it actually is shaped like the uh, PlayStation 5, and it's pretty interesting. So it does have like a little bit of haptic feedback. Um, as soon as you put the controller down inside of it, it'll click to let you know that uh, it actually is inside. You got the little port right back here for the uh, cable. Yeah, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside real quick. All right, now let's go ahead and open up this controller. So, same concept. This little flimsy box contains a lot more thicker box on the inside. So we have the controller, but give me a second. Manual. And the controller does not come with a charging cable, which is pretty interesting.
All right, so here is the PlayStation 5 controller. And it looks pretty nice. I, I definitely will say. Oh. <laughs> oh, this, this feels interesting. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so, as you can see the controller, you got the, uh, whoops, the D-pad, the wonderful buttons, the, the new um, start and options menu. And instead of the PlayStation button, we have the PlayStation logo. Can't really see it that well. Oh, there you go. And then we got your speaker. Now, the uh, thumbsticks are actually like textured and it was kind of weird. Um, the controller is definitely heavy, but that's definitely because of uh, the new technology they're using for um, the rumbles or the replacement for the rumbles. On the bottom, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack with uh, the little charging, um, I forgot what they were called. <laughs> the little metal things that you use to, try to, to charge the controller. And then in the front, you can also charge with a cord. Hmm. I don't know. It feels, feels kind of nice. Well, let me go ahead and plug this in. That way you guys can see what it looks like um, on the charging stage. So this is what the controller looks like on the charging stand. And I apologize for the lights of my computer. When it's actually on the charging stand, it does illuminate, but this doesn't even really click. It just like sits right in there and you really don't even have to do much. Just drop it in, whoops. And then it just starts charging. Obviously, when you have the second one as well, one in the front, one in the back, and they both charge in the same direction. Now, when the PlayStation 5 is released in a couple of days, I will be testing the charging capability of the charging station as well as the controller, um, just to actually see if it lasts as long as Sony says it does. And I will be doing a review on the controller and the charging station a little bit later on, um, probably within a week. That way I get a little bit more of a feel for it, as well as a little bit better feel for the controller itself. Um, Cause like I said, it's gonna be feeling weird going back to a traditional controller um, coming from a custom controller. And I, I don't know, it feels good in my hand. So I, I have a little promise for this. However, let's check one last thing though. I want to see if the control freaks will actually fit on top. 